Merry Christmas to all our friends who have supported Northwest University this year with their gifts, prayers, positive word of mouth, hard work, and most of all, enduring love. This year, I've been thinking a lot about what it means for us to put Jesus first. And as we approach Christmas, the supremacy of Jesus becomes all the more real to me. The Bible says we love him because he first loved us. It reveals Jesus as the firstborn child of God. And because he went first, being conceived of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, all the rest of his work was made possible. His sinless life, his infallible delivery of the word of God, his miracles and words declaring the arrival of God's kingdom, his vicarious death for us on the cross, his descent to the dead, his resurrection from the grave, his ascent to the Father, and his constant intercession for us at the right hand of the Father, all of it began before the foundation of the world when Jesus chose to love us. Because Jesus went first, we can all follow. John 1.12 says, To all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. Children born not of a natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Praise God for the privilege of being born anew, directly into God's family. Kathleen and I are rejoicing this Christmas over the news that our baby daughter, Sophie, will be having her first child in 2023, our fifth grandchild. We love our grandchildren so dearly, but I will never join in when people joke that if they'd known how great it was to have grandchildren, they would have skipped straight to that. There's nothing like having your own kids. Looking back over the course of my life, there's no success, no accomplishment, no honor or recognition of achievement that can compare with the glory of raising our three beautiful daughters. They've married now. They've given us three fine sons. And now the grandchildren keep coming. But my daughters will always be the most precious thing in the world to me. My relationship to them is more direct and more intimate than anything I'll ever have with my grandkids. It's often said that God has no grandchildren. Jesus made it possible for all of us to become children of God. We all have the same direct access to God through the blood of Christ, with whom we are co-heirs to all the riches of God. What an incredible gift Jesus gave us at the first Christmas. All of us, whether we have little ones with us at Christmas this year or not, will all remember the glories of Christmas's past when we received gifts from those who loved us. Perhaps we'll remember parents and grandparents or celebrate our kids or grandkids. In all of it, the presence or memory of family will enrich and maybe even bring a tear to our celebration of Christmas. Whether our families were ideal or painful, close or distant, they remind us that through Jesus, we have become God's family. May this Christmas bring you the closest fellowship with God through Christ, healing you and delighting you and causing you to reflect on God's great love for us, his children. Merry Christmas to all.